Hey, y'all. What, what's going on? How's everybody doing on this fine Sunday evening? They will 100%. What, what did he say? I see I see the, the youngin is in the chat tonight. What's going on, P? Maybe some sniper talk, top dog. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, P missed out on showing your trophies, huh? Yeah, P, I, you I need think... to go back and watch some live. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think he was around for the, the sniping talk. So what's going on, people? How's everybody doing this evening? I need to adjust this a little bit, I feel like. P is giving um, Ethan uh Pointers on, like, be a leader, step up. They'll pick on you if you lack. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. What's up, Talbert? Talbert, what's up? Monster, Katie, Dennis. How's it going? Hello, hello? I just had to throw it down on some trolls on uh, <laughs> yeah. Discord. I got pissed. Yeah, Mo Molly was just in the Discord lighting up some jackasses that are in there. What's up, David? My bee? So, yeah, pretty funny. Um, what up, Nate? How's it going? What's up, Nate? So we've got some fun stuff uh, going on this evening that we're going to gonna show you all. D.E., hello. Yeah, I was pretty confident, David, when I... Uh, like the first time I got on there and read back, I was pretty confident they were trolls. But then they started talking some more crap and Justin was reading it to me and I just got real fucking mad and said, move. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was reading it on the computer and she was like, "Get, let me in there. Let me in there and just let him have it. It was pretty comical. So. Let them have it, then ban their asses. Yeah, that's right. That is right. She gave him an opportunity to to respond, and apparently I wasn't accessible enough for them. Uh, so, so we actually threw my phone number out and, and asked them to call. Uh, yeah, I said do it. You got a problem? Uh, call. Call right now. Nope. And nope. He said nope. Could, I'm a bitch. That. He said it in a roundabout way. <laughs> yeah, but... yeah. That, but that's what he meant. Was yeah. I'm a bitch. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty comical. Oh, good, Dennis. She got it. He said that she loved the giveaway stuff. Beautiful. Wonderful. Did she like the Russian nesting baskets? Was she especially happy they came in threes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's up, Dominic? Manny. Nate said he uh, just closed on his first house on Friday. Congratulations. Yeah, congrats, Nate. That's exciting. Exciting. Yes, she loved. She the loved them. Team. Nice, nice. That's wonderful. What's up, Grateful Panic? Beautiful uh, mofos. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad Hi, your Pete. wife enjoyed it. Hi, Peter. Welcome. Oh, a therapeutic edge. What up, Molly? Justin, who? <laughs> So Katie doesn't care about you at all. <laughs> yeah, no, nobody does. It's fine. Uh, Peter, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to be in your live this afternoon. Um, I had I had farm duties to deal with, which we're gonna get into. I've What's got, up, Nebu Cloud? Got some stuff to show you guys. Um, what's going on, Nebu Cloud? I actually uh, five dollars off for OCD <laughs> hashtag Big Red and Zach. Talbert said that. Talbert, right on. Talbert, I uh, I'm gonna send you an email uh, when we when we're done here. Um, yeah, I got some stuff for you, uh, but I'll I'll send you an email once we're done here tonight. Peter's walking the dog, so typing's real hard and it sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right so on, Michael. What's up, Chris Sabo? Chris, what up, Michael Morgan? Hello, hello. Christine's here. Yes, women carry knives. Hey, hey, Mugen, hey. Yeah, Mugen, Mugen almost, <laughs> almost, died. almost got slaughtered yesterday. <laughs> almost died, which we're going to get into that. I've got some stuff to show you guys. So 
we've we've had a lot of farm work going on this weekend. It's been a busy weekend. Bunyip, Ryan. Uh, just a lot going on, but I got some stuff to show you about that. Jared, got all kinds of people coming on in. Rock, he said, got hooked up with Ryan Pearson, custom knife work, knife work from this channel. Right on. Working out our second custom with him. Big props to you guys for highlighting him, and everybody should check him out. Yeah. Yeah, Ryan does excellent work. Ryan and Rodney are excellent people. I'm really looking forward to meeting them. I've never gotten to meet them in person, so I will be doing that uh, here in just a few weeks uh, down in Atlanta. Rip. So really looking forward to that. Should be a lot of fun. What ripped, D.E.? Uh, yeah. Zach in the house. Zacky Poodles. Yeah. Nice. Right on. Well, so, so yeah, about uh, the farm life. Uh, where's my phone at? Mm. Here we go. Here we go. I got it. All right. So, Nebuchadnezzar. There were some people on uh, Big Red's uh, live last night. Uh, that I was kind of chatting back and forth with. Uh, oh, I got a bunch of text messages. Well, imagine. Yeah, I hadn't even looked at my phone today. Um, or, well, Probably not for, not for many for hours. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, so last night I brought up uh, some stuff that happened. And, oh, ouch. <laughs> You good? Yeah, well, kind of. I'm getting phone calls while I'm trying to navigate other things. It is Sunday night. Who is calling? Yeah, well. So this. Oh, yeah, read your text. Show this off. David said, you bitch. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. called you a bitch. I, I will read my text uh, when I get there. Uh, What's up, Mikey? So it's kind of hard to see here, but um, how many here. dollars let me, did let me you shut this little light off? How many dollars did you make? So this is a jacked up eight. Uh, this picture, it's actually this is like a little video, uh, which I'll I'm gonna post up a video kind of documenting what all happened. But so uh, there's also a bunch of destroyed fence on top of the gate. It's kind of hard to see in this uh, picture right here, but. So Mugen has been stressing our fences, which we had a couple that were uh, uh, just old and needed to be replaced anyway. However, he expedited that process by uh, shoving his fat ass head all over it and, and smashing the fence. And so anyway, uh, Molly and I, the two of us, spent uh, basically all day yesterday rebuilding a couple hundred feet of fence. And we, we locked him into a stall while we were doing that. And about we were probably about three quarters of the way through, yeah, um, something that. like that. And I happened to notice that he was out of his stall because the fat bastard completely destroyed the gate to the stall. Just... The best part is he didn't have the balls to come out of the stall, though, because he knew Mama was going to whoop his ass. Yeah, he stayed, like, in the barn. So, like, the stall is, like, the back half of this this area of the barn. And he broke the gate down that's here. And then he stayed in this area right here uh, and didn't <laughs> come out into the lot Uh which was kind of comical, but the gate was just totally destroyed. Michael said, and, uh, yeah, what? He said, um, sorry, your son's texting me. Stop texting me, son. It's distracting. He said, this Mugen Freeman character sounds like a badass. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's something. He's a piece of work. Yeah. So, so then I was going to show you guys. So, Anyway, we got the gate or we got the fence all fixed. I had to just remove the gate completely cuz it was it wouldn't even Exactly. wouldn't Winchester. open or close. Winchester said he stayed in the barn because he was afraid to get sniped. <laughs> right? Exactly. Uh so then we uh took, Yeah, Poncho. We took a bale out and put it just out in the middle 
um, just to give him something to play with and kind of occupy his time. And so here is, uh, the. I know the glare is bad, but this little sneak peek, I took some video of it because he actually went hog wild and was like rodeoing. Um, so this was today at 430, 428. How much money did you make, Mikey? Uh, so I, he and I kind of played the, uh, like ring around the rose or ring around the bale, if you will. It was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. He's getting all wound up. So anyway, um, yeah, it was, uh. It's been a weekend. We'll just say that. <laughs> Mugen guy pan. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle says I love cows. I do too, but fuck, dude. It, yeah, this <laughs> this one ruined our whole weekend. And we just worked our asses off just because he's an asshole. So, apparently the we've got a, a round bale that's in the feeder out there. And I don't know what the deal is, but apparently it must not be very good hay uh, because they aren't liking it. They're not eating it well. Uh, but, yeah. Anyway, so let's get this out of the way. We'll show, show you guys some stuff. Uh, one thing, a little new, new things going on. We've got these. School projects. School projects. This is... Uh, our daughter has a, What's up, Terry? a project that she had to do for... Which class is this for? Civics. Civics class. Um, and she's got a whole like presentation. They're and doing a, a job fair. Uh, and they have to do a job board and do all the things for getting a job. Okay, so field. so she's doing her job as psychology, yeah, psychologist, psychologist, uh, and so she's got to have like, like some interactive uh, demonstrations or whatever. I don't know, but she needed some brains, so I printed her a couple of brains here. Uh, this is just the support material uh, left over from said brain. Jeremy, me with knives. Uh, but they're pretty cool. I, I really dig them the way they came out. I actually found this. Uh, that sucks, monster. This brain drawing online, and I found the instructions. Uh, so this is actually someone's brain, uh, the scan of it, and I found the instructions on how you can take a, a like a CT scan and convert it to an STL file to print your own brain or any other body part for that matter. <laughs> Uh, it's pretty interesting. Grateful says, my parents' cow, Mulania. <laughs> Mul Love it. <laughs> there you go, Mulania. Think nice. She's a dog, and which is cool, except for the fact that she wants to jump on you like a dog, and she weighs a thousand freaking pounds. Yeah, exactly. Same. Yeah, we have, we have one of those way. as well. He just wants hugs and kisses. Yeah, he just, yeah, exactly. That's all he wants is hugs and kisses. Hi, Gary. I, I need more of those. More brains. More brains. So, yeah, so 3D printed the brain, uh, pretty cool, but this is actually someone's brain uh, from a, like a CT scan or a, a which uh, or a, yeah, I can't remember what, is that what it's called, CT scan? I don't, brain? we weren't, I can't remember. just some kind of brain scan. Neither yeah. of them are size. Uh, yeah, they're not, they're not. Uh, size full, accurate. Yeah, yeah. full size. Uh, obviously, this one's larger, but, um, you know, this is probably about, uh Two-thirds scale, something like that. Yeah, paper tiger for the scarecrow. But, but yeah, they turned out pretty cool. So, digging that. Did they save uh, you any tasty cakes? No. What's Me that? With knives. I'd not get enough of the tasty cakes in my mouth. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, the tasty cakes. Does it were sound good. like I had enough tasty cakes in my mouth hole? Yeah. So, how many people uh, checked out our newest video that uh, we posted? A little unboxing video where we opened up a bunch of budget knives. <laughs> What's the IQ on them brains? Four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, they're pretty nice. It, they're they're well crafted. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with like a solid eight. Nice, Mikey. Now you can. Buy us gifts. No, I'm kidding. I mean, don't buy us anything. <laughs> did you see my... Yeah, I did. 
I'm just a little late to the game. There's a lot of comments. Where did you get access to these scans? The internet. Yeah, the internet. It's a beautiful, marvelous. And also, also infuriating. Like. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Uh, so in the latest video that we put out, uh, opened up some new stuff. We actually had three new uh, models from Concept, which happened to be these three. <laughs> I did get some chips. And uh, yeah, they... All three are really, really nice. I'm actually going to disassemble this one here because um, I read that it's riding on washers, which is super impressive because it feels like it's on bearings. Uh, the detent is a little stiff. Yeah, uh, we'll have to do that, Bunyip. But he's got two breeze uh, he can scratch against. He suggested we get him a scratching post. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, he's got scratching posts out there. He has access to scratching places. Um, it's just never enough. Yeah, no, he's just, he's like a, uh, well, he's just, he's spoiled is what the problem is. I don't someone, understand what Someone you're... spoiled him from the time he was a wee little lad. And so now <laughs> he thinks that he should be cuddled and held and played with nonstop and nonstop. All that. That's not true. I don't even go see him every day. Sometimes I just yell at him out the back door. Get off the fucking fence. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How's well, that spoiled and loved? <laughs> well, but you did spoil him in the beginning <laughs> when he was a wee little guy. Yeah, maybe. We can print all the body parts, Winchester. Yep. Yeah, that yellow one. Not my fave. I kind of dig the yellow. Uh, this one, so this is the Concept Fusa. And 154CM, super, super well uh, flat ground uh, blade here. Uh, comes down to a very, very keen edge. It's only three millimeter blade stock. What which, models are the double detent ones? These two right here. Okay. The uh, Fusa, the yellow one, and the Weasel is the uh, Micarta. We do have a couple new two sons, Gary. But you put the video up about those, didn't you? No. Oh. No. I um I haven't put a two son video up in a little while. Oh dang. But no, we don't have any. <laughs> we're, we're we are uh yeah. I do have some two son talk for tonight. Uh, and I have two new two sons coming, uh, but I haven't received them yet that are really, really fantastic. I'm super excited about them. Oh, Hollywood. I can't wait to get them. Dang. Well, have fun at your samba party, bud. Got to go to a samba party, huh? <laughs> yeah. You're just living in living La Vida Loca. <laughs> living La Vida Loca. Mugen is just over a year old. He's like 13 months. I don't remember. Yeah, he is. So he was born in April. Okay. So so anyway, both of these are 154 cm. You can see that the Fusa has got a little bit of a an American Tonto uh, blade, where the Weasel is just kind of your standard drop point. Katie, all of us were the baby cow holders. Both of them are very very thin behind the edge, uh, like right around the twelve thousandths range. Uh, just very excellent uh, knives. I like them both. They both have titanium <laughs> pocket clips. Uh, and you can get both of them in several different colors. G10, micarta, carbon fiber. And they're all in that, I'm pretty sure, in that like 60 to $75 range. Uh, something like that. But for the materials that you're getting, and the, they're, they're well done. They're really cool. Um, somebody I like wants them to see the horn. Oh, oh, oh we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Oh, dang. Hold on to your knickers. Yep. We got several things to show you. And some stuff ID. that you guys That's haven't seen yet. Um, we have new stuff that you haven't even seen yet. <laughs> so, um, Hey, grateful. I have been mounted by Mugen multiple times, so I feel your pain. Only on a little bit larger scale. He said he said if you spoil male llamas, they yeah. want to do the deed with you when they're older. Oh, gotcha. Ask me how I know. <laughs> I was like, well, I feel you, yes. On yeah. a cow level, though. Yeah. 
Yep, that that happens. <laughs> so this one here, the uh, Hazakura, is also 154 cm, but instead of three, these are both three inch blade. Miss Lindy. Uh, this one here is three and a half inch blade, uh, liner lock, front flipper, uh, Max, whatever. Uh, I can't think. I can't pronounce his last name. Uh, but uh, this designer has had uh, several designs with Tucson, a uh, handful of, of designs out there with multiple different companies. There's his maker's mark right there. So very, very cool knife. Uh, and supposedly this is riding on washers, but we're going to find out uh, because it, def it definitely has really great action. Uh, like I said, the detent's pretty stiff on it, but, you know, that'll break in with time. Yeah, Max to Chuck. <laughs> yeah. Something, I don't know. It's it. Yeah, I can't pronounce it, so. Uh, but really cool uh, linen micarta <laughs> scales. Oh, and, you guys uh, are boring me. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, just really, really, really awesome knife. Did you tell him what the super, name is? Super, super lightweight. Uh, Hazakura means, uh, uh, I don't know exactly like the literal translation for it, but it means, uh, cherry blossoms or cher cherry trees blossoming, something to that effect. The beauty uh, of in cherry trees in Japan. and blossoming. The, the essence of Japanese cherry blossoms. I love me some cherry blossoms. I got one coming in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um... It's pronounced Kachuk. He has some Kachuk. Yeah. Okay. He has some Kubi designs too. Yes, he does. Yep. Well, and I like a lot of his designs. There, he he always does a good job. Yep. Good stuff. <laughs> so definitely, definitely a cool one for sure. And Me. both both the Fusa and the Weasel are are also equally cool. The Neves Knives dog was humping last night. That's too bad. Isn't now. it a stuffed dog? Yeah. Uh, so there was just perverts in the room Wait a making minute. a stuffed dog hump people? Is yeah, that what you're saying? Yeah, because I thought Jared told me that he lost <laughs> oh, yeah. their he dog. Was, oh, guys, I got to tell you that this is actually really funny. So this was, I don't know, what, three, four weeks ago or something? Molly yeah. put a, a post out on Instagram. Yeah, something about the dogs. The dogs, well, and, it was Walter yeeting himself through the hula hoop. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. And and uh, Jared commented on Molly's post and said that he was a dong, not D-O-G, D-O-N-G, dong trainer. <laughs> <laughs> got so, him. Got him. He likes to train pee-pee. Yes, he likes to. He's a peen trainer. <laughs> <laughs> He's a peen trainer. <laughs> So so yeah, we we laughed hard about that actually. Yeah, we did. Uh, and somebody commented and caught it before I did and said, "A dong trainer?" Yeah, uh, excuse me. He never replied. He is a <laughs> dong trainer. So Jared, we need to know more. <laughs> yeah, we we definitely need to know more. So this thing's got a free spinning pivot, uh, and of course I started pulling the. The tube side, not the screw side. It's the What's way it up, always not works. DG? Maybe he likes the guys from old school who teaches BJs. <laughs> hey, hey, you know that. Maybe. One, uh, what's that dude's name? And uh, who was that guy? Uh, uh Aunt, is it Andy? I don't know. Oh, you'd know him if you saw him. Uh, I can't remember his name though. You must have been looking like a snack. Great Win panic. Winchester will know. Winchester. Andy Dick. That's who it is. Andy oh, Dick. Yeah, yeah. I knew Winchester would know, and it was up on the screen. I just saw his dumb face the other day, too. And I couldn't. He couldn't was great in old school. Marissa, way to cup the balls or whatever. I can't, I can't remember exactly How what he said. How to train but... your dong featuring Jared Neves. <laughs> exactly. Old expert dong trainer. Oh, look at this. So that it says in the lit literature here that this is riding on washers, but that's the goofiest looking washer I have ever seen. Look at that washer. Mm -hmm. 
That's not a washer. That's not a washer. I fig I thought this thing was bearings. This thing's bearings all the way, bro. Uh, but it is running dry. Um, there is, it looks like a little bit of lube on the detent. My wife right at, at the moment has got a Kleenex sticking out of her nose. And? Hey, no, hey, you do you. Got a little bit of a runny nose. That's kind of interesting. So this thing, let's see what the liners look like. Maybe, oh. maybe the washer has go goosebumps. So there is uh, bearing races. It's not just flat. No, no nose uh, bleed. But it's on both sides. The liner and the blade has got a bearing race uh, track, like a groove cut that the ball's right in. It is a regular occurrence, isn't uh, it, monster? So that actually... Uh, that allows you to make the knife uh, very thin. Uh, so instead of just having a bearing pocket, you also have that groove. And so the liner can be very, very tight to the blade that way. I'm glad, Katie. I like the bedazzling you did. So that's that's really cool. Um, definitely uh, a nice little touch and the little extra step there from concept that they certainly did not have to do. Most manufacturers don't. We can unbox my ricer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. We could do that. If, if you want, and we have time. Don't know if we'll have enough time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot going on. Oh, yeah. speaking of that. Oh, shit. Um, I don't... Lost the I haven't it. seen him in here. Uh, but if y'all know Godclaw... Um, he just became a patron of ours, and we wanted to give him a shout out, Ryan Frias. Yep. So thank you very much, if and when you watch this. <laughs> if and when you watch this. And Ryan, uh, Molly explained what's going on, so I will be uh, reaching out to you this week, uh, and we'll uh, talk about the situation. So... I will not be a party to glitter shenanigans, Mr. Eggs. <laughs> Don't get me involved. I'm not trying to get kicked out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's grounds for that's grounds for an ass whooping. Cuz yeah, cuz that's what happens. <laughs> Ooh, you know what? I wanted to do something before I did that. I'm throwing down a little little lube here on the uh, Hazakura, but it's best to have the balls coupled from both sides. <laughs> I concur. Yep. Yep. I, I think that's uh, good call, Pro X. Yeah, def definitely uh, a good call there. You really gotta handle them properly. Yep. That's fact. What's tomorrow, Mikey? Do you start the job tomorrow? Do you have a blast cabinet? Yes. Is that what you call yours, Justin? That's What's that? That's kind of weird. I don't know. What did he call it, Grateful? I don't know what we're talking about. Well, he's alluding to a peen, but I don't know what word. Oh, don't forget to mind the stepchildren was in line. Oh, that's community. right. Don't. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. He says something about, yeah, don't forget to mind the stepchildren. And they always, way to go, Marissa. You're really giving it 110% or something like that. Oh. <laughs> Do you call your dick Hazakura? <laughs> oh, a cherry blossom? It's the essence of a. Cherry blossom <laughs> blooming in the spring. <laughs> uh, no, I haven't really thought about it, but... Uh, That's fucking funny, though. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Mm. You know, I could I could be one of those guys that gets one of those uh, dumbass uh, Japanese symbol tattoos uh, <laughs> and have no idea what it actually says. I actually They'll have... tell him it says Hazakura, <laughs> yeah. but it'll actually say dumbass. Ma ma yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I actually have a buddy of mine that has a couple of uh, 
I don't even know that they're Japanese. They it might be China, it might be Mandarin. I don't know what it is. He's got a couple of Asian uh, uh, symbols on the back of his calf, and he has no idea what it means either. You know, he that was back in the day, and just a dumbass kid and walked in the tattoo shop and said he wanted that one or whatever off the board, yeah. <laughs> like a moron. Mikey, I was not on Instagram much today. I'm never really truly on Instagram much. Yeah. Um, but. I had, we had a teen freaking tea party picnic extravaganza today at our house. Yes, that I is I made a, a fact. charcuterie board <laughs> and then served tea to teen girls. There was a charcuterie board involved. Uh, and <laughs> That's probably why is Dennis always come in early because you never know what you're going to get midstream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i can go a lot of places that's for damn sure oh welcome seraphin so, finally in a live welcome we're so glad you're here sarcucci board yeah so i call them um, cooter board oh yeah i call it a cooter board and the girls call it a coochie board but yeah classic Oh, if, yeah. Do I, I don't know. That all started between me and my girlfriends because we followed an Aldi group online on Facebook. But now I'm no longer on the Facebook. But anyway, the, the one month they, they had on special charcuterie boards and everybody's like, we don't know how to say that. How the hell do you <laughs> say that? So they just start calling them coochie boards and stuff and cooter boards. And Co cooter board. So that's just what they are now. Yep. So, yeah, Hazakura. Pretty cool one, for sure. I have a Japanese text tattoo. I studied before, though. It means once in a lifetime chance meeting. My wife and I have it. That's really nice. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. If you actually know, yeah, if you what, know it what it means. Is, that's awesome. Yeah, but just like... like in my opinion, walking into a tattoo shop and looking at the board and saying, I'll take number 39 and, and then put some symbol on you that you have <laughs> no idea. Like if I ran that tattoo shop, I would have the symbol up there for dumbass or whatever or fool or something to that effect, you know, and just to see how many people get it. Uh, um, that's a my B, Mikey. He said, I didn't post it on Instagram. I posted it on this live. <laughs> oh, OK. Well, I fucking missed it. <laughs> I'm a human. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, a shark coochie board. That's right. Yep. N Russian nesting cooter boards. <laughs> <laughs> Does your charcuterie board have a gooch on it? No. No gooch on the charcuterie board. I don't really board. have a proper charcuterie board. It's no, just but a they're, circle. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, the new one that Burkles was using. <laughs> Winchester says it sounds like a new sticker. <laughs> All right, so after we opened up the three um, concept blades here, uh, then we got into some new Kaiser stuff, uh. which I have to be honest here. This little knife right here, the uh, Kaiser horn, this might be... Kaiser's just killing it right now. Uh, in the budget, budget knife game... Kaiser is killing it. He's so doing it to him. Huh? I beat the shit out of this Kaiser slicer all weekend long. Uh, you can see the blade. It's uh, she's pretty pretty dirty. I actually did kind of wipe it off, uh, but but it got pretty nasty this weekend. But it performed like a champion and uh, did a good job. It cut round bales and it did all kinds of things this weekend. So that I seems about right, Grable. Beat on that thing pretty good. But this little guy right here, uh, this linen micarta is very, very nicely done. It's a contoured handle. It's got a very nice deep carry clip. It is a Bowler N690. It <laughs> has a removable flipper tab. Really digging the horn. What's that? Everybody's really digging the horn. Yeah, and... Check this out, guys. If you guys have not looked this knife up yet, this thing is $62. $62. You can buy the Kaiser Horn. And she is a beaut. Like, an action on it is fantastic. Whether you're, uh, you know, fingering it 
Whoa. Uh, or using the flipper tab. Uh, but let me show you how how easily and cool this flipper delete is. Uh, it's very, very nicely done. Takes a T6 right through the hole there. And there you go. There's the screw. And check this out. The flipper tab comes out. Uh, you can see the where it's milled and the flipper tab. The, it's a lap joint. And it's very, very secure. But that's what it looks like with the flipper deleted. Michael wants to know how it feels without the flipper. Uh, it feels great. It's fantastic. Uh, you can see on the back side of the flipper would be. Uh, but the action's great. I love the really fine jimping on the spine of the blade. It's really good in hand. Without the flipper, you can choke up into this area right here. And you've got some jimping there which is phenomenal. Uh, so when you have the flipper on, it's, you, it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, my fingers are, uh, you know, that area there is pretty small. I mean, you can get a finger up in there, but, <laughs> but it's better to, to choke up on it with the flipper tab gone. But I think it, it's a fantastic carry with or without the flipper. Oh, CPM says, I feel like the more moving parts there are on a pocket knife, the more likely I am to cut myself. Okay. Well, this, I mean, this is really just an on or off thing, so it's not like a, a big deal. But, you know, you can thumb flick this thing. You can finger flick it. Uh, it works fantastic. I like the little uh, uh, recessed area where they put the the information so they've got the maker's mark and then the the model name horn on the opposite side it's the kaiser logo and the blade steel n690 hi lot mom very very thin uh behind the edge and yeah it's just a gorgeous little knife and for 62 dollars, this thing is a rock star yeah paper tiger said great price yeah it's amazing it's fantastic you know everybody goes on and on and on about the the uh civivis and stuff and and don't get me wrong there's some civivi models that i think are fantastic um <laughs> uh, but you know most of the decent civivis have gotten upwards of you know 85 90 dollars and uh very few of them are still in that you know 50 to 60 dollar range that are that are really good ones this is a really phenomenal knife uh, it's like a fancy Yojimbo. I thought it looked like a Yojimbo too. Like it made me feel those vibes. Oh, I don't think it looks. To me, it's more like the Kaiser Maestro or the. Yeah. Are you planning on dying the micarta? I don't know. Um, I don't. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Uh, I you know just opened it yesterday. Um, I had. I really had no idea what to expect. Um, I thought it looked kind of interesting. And, uh, but it, it way exceeded my expectations. So. All right. So we got that one and you know, the Kaiser slicer, this thing is fantastic as well. Just a phenomenal worker knife. Reminds you Crazy good ergonomics on that thing. A plane without wings. I can okay. See that. Yeah. 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 That works. All right. And then from Kaiser, we have these two. These you, you are. You didn't want me to open those? No, <laughs> I don't want you to throw them at me. These are the brand new Kaiser Mini Critical in CPM 3V blade steel. Oh, he's so handsome. Which is just super cool. Uh, it really kind of shocked me that Kaiser was doing these in 3V. Uh, but, you know, good on them. I think it's awesome. Let's and, see the side profile of the slicer again. The side profile of the slicer. Is that what that is? So there's the top one here is the Kaiser slicer. This is the Kaiser horn. And then we have two variations of the Kaiser mini critical in CPM 3B. Yeah, so, that's a, it sounds like your blood sugar dropped, Mikey. And here is the full-size Kaiser Critical from several years ago. Yeah, black and red is badass. Yeah, it is. It's a cool one for sure. And the uh, it's got uh, 
I don't know, I can't remember what they called it, the carbon fiber here, but it's like really fat weave carbon fiber, and it's got some texture to it, which is really cool. Um, and it looks to me like the pivot collar and backspacer are G10. Um, I haven't disassembled this or anything, so I'm not 100% sure, but it, it looks like it. And uh, riding on bearings, you can see it's perfectly centered. They're, uh, they're really, really cool knives, for sure. I like the full-size Critical. It's a fantastic <laughs> knife, and the minis are really amazing as well. It does look like bas basket weave. Um, mini knife in 3V seems like an oxymoron, but it looks it, cool. Yeah, it does. I, I, I agree. Um, you know, 3V's claim to fame is its toughness. Um, hey, do you know? More than anything, you know, I'm... In my opinion, 3V was kind of an, a, a, a strange choice uh, for blade steel here. I'm just happy to see him stepping outside of the the norm uh, more than anything. I I really love you know it's one of my favorite things about Spider Co is that they do crazy amounts of you know uh, unique steel choices uh, and they do them justice. You know they do good heat treats. Kaiser has always generally uh, been pretty good with their uh, quality heat treats and stuff. They do S35 extremely well. Uh, and I'm just happy to see them step outside the box. What? How much are the small, the minis? Uh, you can buy either one of these. So Carbon Fiber and 3V or Micarta and 3V. Both of them, or for either one, either one of them is $100. Uh, I uh -huh. think they're $99. Do you know how much the big... The regular size critical is? Uh, the full size critical, um, when they first came out, I'm wanting to say it was like 220, 225, something like that. This is a titanium frame lock S35 VN. Uh, but I'm pretty sure you can find them, and they're still available. Uh, this thing is still around, um, and I'm pretty sure they've been on sale for a while now. I think you can buy this thing for like 150 bucks, maybe. And the my only complaint, like this knife, in hand, it's fantastic. This knife is so good. My only complaint is this back corner here is a little bit sharp. Hey, George. Other than that, I love the Critical. Absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite knives, actually. <clears throat> uh, but that that nubbin back on the back side right there is uh, a little sharp. But that's how, how is easily it, fixed. How is it in scalpel grip? So like this, um, it's good. I mean, you can pinch it. You can do, you know, you want to What I'm thinking it? is like this. That's oh. how you hold a scalpel. Okay. So, so like this, I mean, you know, however you want to hold it, it's fine. Uh, you know, something like this. It's like a, like a pinch grip or whatever. Uh, this knife is, is really good any way you want to. Uh, do it, you know, even in a, a reverse grip or whatever, the murder grip. Uh, oh, thank you, Katie. Yeah, will everybody see those bad boys today? Just this back corner is my only complaint, and the mm. only time that that even is a deal is when I'm flipping it. You know, generally I kind of put the butt of the knife in my palm, um, and, you know, it's not a big deal. It hasn't been a big enough deal that I've ever done anything with it, but every time I grab it, I'm just kind of like, man, I wish they'd have rounded that off more. So, sh short of that, it's it's a gorgeous knife. Clip works beautifully. It's it's just a good one. This is a Matt Christensen design, and he, he killed it. It's a great knife. Uh huh. Everybody's in here. How is everybody doing? We gooch. Apparently, some people are having some blood sugar problems because they're not eating a protein-rich breakfast. There you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. So, we've got a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, what do you want to call it? A food challenge? Food? We're going to taste a, a food? I, I mean, like, people use them we for have, challenges, but we are just kind of more curious. Yeah, we're, yeah, we've got a new food here that we're going to try. We're going to do that tonight, but we also have... A couple of brand new spider co's that we could show you guys that we haven't shown yet so you guys tell us 
Do you want the the food option or the brand new Spider Coast? Which one first? We're gonna do both tonight. Okay. So. Okay. What do you have for breakfast, Mikey? I already know your problem. I'm gonna give you a mom lecture. If you don't <laughs> stop talking about it. Food first, Zach says. Food first. Okay. All right. Let's do food first. So this came up um, a few days ago, and uh, Molly and I were watching something. We were driving down the road and listening to something, and it came up about Takis. And I brought up that I've never tried one. Uh, and so she was at the store the other day, and she got these. Well, Oh, that wasn't that big of a deal, but then uh, they're in blue heat. Look who's here. Oh, yeah, there you go. So much money. Yeah. <sighs> uh, funny. So, anyway, on the uh, tox, uh, Takis, uh, we, uh, like I said, we were driving or Molly went to the store, picked these up, and these are Blue Heat uh, Hot Chili Pepper Tortilla Chips. So, anyway, we're going to try these out. I have no idea if they're any good or not, uh, but let's get out the old uh, Kaiser Slicer here. Still slicing. Still slicing. I thought it would be a bull nads like in a Chevy Chase movie. Oh, they are blue. Shit, I didn't realize. I, I didn't I know they were, they were actually going to be blue. But let's just be honest here with something. So those chips come to, I guess it's about half. I don't know. It looks like they're way deep down in there. <laughs> CPM says, don't do it. I, mean, I got to give these things a smell. Oh, they just smell like corn chips. They don't even smell hot. Are they hot? Yeah, but Mikey, did you eat breakfast? I'm not asking about what you had the night before for dinner. Smell them. They don't smell. They don't even smell no, hot they at smell all. Smell like vinegar. To me, they just smell like tortilla chips. Okay. Yeah, if you didn't eat breakfast, that's your problem. You had a blood sugar crash. Eat protein. Eat three meals a day. So that one, that one's got the most blue shit on it, as, from what I can see in there. You gonna grab one? I guess. You not excited about trying this? My stomach's They're, kinda. Mm. So these things are rolled up, uh, but. Yes, Mikey. Hmm. They're not that hot. No, not at all. To me, they're pretty good. Yeah. Um. There's a little bit of heat coming on the backside, but. Fucking oh, god. But they're like. Uh, nothing. Just nothing. They're like. Uh, like, chili cheese. Uh, it's Chili like, cheese, uh, what are they, um, Fritos? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The Cholitos. Well, I've never had a Cholito, but I imagine that's what they would taste like. Yeah. I don't know. Let me see your tongue. Uh, yeah, it's a little greenish blue. I'm guessing if you ate several of these, because... Yeah, that was just one. I ate one, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is a little bit of heat on the back side. Yeah, but nothing like crazy. I will say. They're making me gag <laughs> having blue talkies. <laughs> look at look at the picture versus the, the actual unit here. So that's a far cry off of what the picture shows. Um, but yeah, they're not bad. They're just like they're Cholito uh, tortilla chips here. Holy Cholito, Batman. That was the dumbest shit, but it still made me laugh. Hmm. Thanks, Michael. Uh, thank you, Zach. Early morning heat. <laughs> right on. Um, neat. Do the chip challenge, Mom, Paxton says. Yeah. I ain't scared. Yeah. 
I've also heard that the U.S. Takis are lower heat than Mexican Takis. I've heard that too. Yeah, I. This is my first experience with Takis, so I, I don't know. Mikey. Are these? Are say they made in name, Mexico? Say my name. Um. Did made in uh, blah blah. Yeah, so they're made in Mexico. Uh, distributed by Barcel USA in Copeland or Coppel, Texas. Oh, this is it's a bimbo, bimbo company. Those, that's who made those those cinnamon cookies that are so good. Oh those. yeah, Berkeley and I saw a bimbo truck the other yeah. day, and she looked at me and said, "Who's bimbo?" And I was like, "I don't know." <laughs> that's that's a Mexican uh, snack maker. Um, but the what are they? The car? Uh, what are those Mexican cookies that were so good? The Cinnamon ones, man, those things were oh, delicious. Yeah. yeah, you didn't get them here. In the yeah, I know, I know. Car Carlitos or something, oh, or something Car like that. Yeah, I don't know. They make these these uh, <laughs> Mexican cookies that when Molly and I were down in Mexico, we found them down there. But they do sell them here in the states as well. They're delicious, very delicious. Nothing on the chat. So, anyway. <clears throat> no, thank you very much. Thank yeah, there you, you go, Zach. The can't. Uh, oh, your grandpa. Cantalitas. Mm. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's it. That's the one. Those things are awesome. Katie's grandma used to work for them. Bimbo. For bi oh, really? Nice. They make delicious, delicious treats. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what store did we go to when we were down in Mexico. We went to some store. And it was like you... a superstore. Like yeah, a but Walmart I don't remember. Thing, but, but it, it wasn't, wasn't a Walmart. A Walmart. No, it I was can't like, remember what it was called. It was, but it was. It was Mexican Walmart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was Mexican Walmart. It was fantastic. But they had like dirt bikes. Yeah, they. Had, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> we got delicious cinnamon cookies, and they had dirt bikes in there. It was epic. Yeah, loved that place. It was great. Why? Like that's that the was kind of in... crap I like to do when we yeah. go out of the country. Oh, yeah, is just go so to stores. <laughs> Just normal ass errands. Yeah, it was fun. We had and try good, and figure out what you're buying. Good times. Good times. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, I gotta be honest here. Um, we're gonna have. I gotta say this up front. Now this is the live show, so I probably don't need to do this, but I will. Mm -hmm. I want everyone to know. Be prepared. There is about to be a trigger warning. Ooh. So or no, this I should say this is the trigger warning. I'm about to show something that could trigger some people. Okay, so I just want everyone to just be prepared. prepared. Just Mikey, be prepared, Mikey. That's pretty good breakfast. But how many hours after that did you have your episode? Okay, trigger warning. Here we go. Now my body is ready. <laughs> okay, is everybody ready? Now I'm gonna I'm gonna. I'm not going to show it yet, but I'm going to tell you what it is. So if you need to run and scream and whatever, you can get that out of your system. What's in, So these are three brand new Spider Co's that we have not shown yet. <laughs> um, I did film an unboxing video on these three knives, but it has not been posted yet. DE says, hold on. He oh. says, trigger warning. Don't rub against a cooter board unless you want to has a Kura. <laughs> Definitely don't apply Takis afterwards. <laughs> Those are words to live by. Truer words have never been spoken, sir. Okay, so these are three brand new Spider Co's. We mm. have filmed the unboxing, but it hasn't been posted yet. Uh, however, in this box, it's a sprint run. Oh, sprint run. <laughs> So all the people that need to yell and scream and throw a fit and whatever, uh, do that now before I open it up because it actually has paperwork saying Sprint Run in this box. I don't get it, Mikey. Get checked out. Sprint Run. <laughs> okay, so. We I got need some, an adult. <laughs> we got some cool new stuff here. Uh, this one's a dealer exclusive from DLT Trading. Uh, black and red Zome Dragonfly. <laughs> Sarah Vincent said somebody is about to be canceled. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, 
This one's in 20 CV. So, Spyderco has been killing it lately on the Dragonfly, doing some really cool ones. And, uh, the you know, the black and red Zome is a pretty cool one for sure. It matches yours, Katie. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, and I forgot. Uh, check out the new stickers from Spyderco. This is the first time we've received these, and all three boxes have one of these in it. So that's super cool. Yeah. Um, and they're like a matte finish, so I'm assuming these are going to be in every new Spyderco box moving forward. Uh, don't know that 100%, but yeah, pretty cool. And, of course, the paperwork to go along with it. But very cool little knife right there. The little uh, dragonfly. <laughs> Lot mom says... And then... Uh, okay, I might need to buy a new knife. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then this one here, another dealer exclusive, again, with the little sticker. And this one is a really cool one from another dealer exclusive from the Knife Joker. And is... Uh, mystic, they're calling this Mystic Green uh, FRN Handle in CPM 20 CV. So she's a beauty. And let me show you something here real quick, if I can find it. The old uh, Mystic Green here is definitely translucent. So pretty cool. Definitely looks pretty cool. It's a good color. I like it. You like this color? Mm, yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah. Are these way? No. Nope. Nice try, Jason. Is it a lightweight? Yeah. Yeah, this is a Manix 2 lightweight in 20 CV and translucent mystic green FRN. So, pretty cool. It's a knife joker exclusive right there. And then here it is, guys. Here is the latest and greatest... Spider Co. Sprint Run. Justin Headroom. What? Grateful said Justin Headroom. Okay. I don't get it. I don't either. I don't know. Okay. Good try. All right. Here it is, guys. The Sprint Run. The latest Sprint Run is this one right here. This is uh, Spider Co. This happens to be the little native in true, this isn't peel ply carbon fiber. This is true carbon fiber slabs and CPM S90V, little native. And uh, there we go. She's a beaut. And Molly. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you guys will just have wow. to watch the unboxing video. You're throwing an uh, old throwback. Buddy. Yeah, the the unboxing video on these are, is pretty funny. And you're going to have to watch that to see the factory edge. Uh, you know, of course, we did the factory edge test and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, definitely a cool one for sure. The little native in carbon fiber S90V. And the carbon fiber has got some texture to it, which is really, really cool. Uh, the lightweight is pinned construction, eh? Yes, it is. Yeah. All uh, Manix 2 lightweights are pinned. Three very cool sprint runs. They're not all sprint runs, are nope. they? Nope. Just this one's a sprint run. These two are dealer exclusives. Justin's going to be drowning in FRN handles soon. Yeah, I saw that egg. So you're just laughing it up. Just ha 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 ha. FRN yeah. for everyone. Yeah. And, you know, if they're like this, I'm fine with it. <laughs> um, you know, as long as they're cool, I don't need any uh, Tenacious FRN. Oh, uh, the little native is so good, Poncho. Yeah. Yeah. So, like I said, you guys are going to have to watch the, uh, the unboxing video because um, it's really, really good. Uh, yeah. We have a good time in that one. Is it's that fun. the fluted carbon fiber? Ooh. Fluted carbon fiber? Yeah. I'm guessing they're talking about this, but... I don't know. This is uh, carbon fiber slabs, um, and it is true carbon fiber. It's not, uh, you know, some of what they call the peel ply carbon, where it's carbon fiber over G10. 
These are true carbon fiber slabs, but it is, uh, there is texture to it. You can kind of see it there. It's textured kind of like G10, uh, but it's it's very nice to, to feel. Like it's not rough at all. It's not going to be hard on your pocket. Anthony's in. He wants but to buy it. <laughs> it's definitely good enough to to uh, you know keep your grip and all that. It's not going to slide out of your hands. It's not too aggressive. Uh, I would say it's it, honestly, it's just about perfect. It's really, perfect. It really is. It's really perfect in every way. Yeah. Anthony, email it's us. I don't know. Much, much different than the texture of the uh, uh, critical here. Uh, even though this is textured carbon fiber, the two are very, very different. Is so, it the same as the Native Chief carbon fiber? It is not. Um, yeah, the Native Chief was very different than this. Um, so... Yeah, I, I honestly don't. I don't have another spider code to compare it to. Um, I can't remember <laughs> another carbon fiber spider code that had this type of texture to it. <laughs> Peter wants to know if you water it, will it grow? Uh, yeah. Um, no, I'm sorry to say <laughs> no. <laughs> Psych. Yeah, but Peter and I, uh, we we shared the same love for man-sized knives. Oh, you got those big hands too? Yep, yep. So, yeah. It might shrink. When will that version of the little native be available? Uh, I, I honestly don't know. I mean, it's going to have to be really, really soon. Because, uh, so being in the collector club, like the Knife Joker, this Manix already dropped. Um uh, Sometimes I get them before they actually hit the streets, and sometimes I don't. Uh, this, this one I got before uh, it hit the streets. and But here, I'll show you the paperwork on it, so you guys can read that if you want. Uh, talks all about it. So if you want to pause right there and read that. Anyone ever handled the Daryl Ralph Dominator? I have not, uh, but... That's what she said. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Um, Dion said, I like the carbon fiber, but much not much for Smurf blades. I always lose them. Not much for what? Smurf blades, little blades. Oh, got it. Before they hit the streets, are we still talking knives? Duh. We don't do anything or talk about anything inappropriate here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we would never do that. Mm -mm. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. That's the latest and greatest coming from uh, the old uh, spider. Spider cool. So, bunch of really awesome new stuff. Uh, came in over the last <laughs> few days and we've got uh, I'm waiting on a couple other things uh, to show up and yeah it should be good but you're gonna be gone but yeah I am gonna be gone I gotta go out of town for a few days uh, so did you, did you just you call know. me a liar Mikey what you lying about about us never talking about inappropriate things on this. Oh. He's suggesting I'm lying. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I don't know what Mikey's talking about because, yeah. I, that's that's a matter of opinion. In, in, inappropriate. What's inappropriate to you may not be inappropriate to me, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Help us all if she's the one that's setting those standards. <laughs> <laughs> uh <laughs> right on. Blue talkies, what the kids are calling drugs these days. Yeah. <laughs> it's called that talkie dust. That talkie dust? Mm, that's not all he called you. <laughs> Ooh, you tried to start a fight? All right. Well, so we've got... Uh, <laughs> are we going to show off those... Those fancy new things. <laughs> That's right, Jeremy. All we talk here is knives and Jesus. <laughs> uh, we, yeah, we could show like one. 
Just one of those? Yeah. And see how it goes. Here. And maybe Should, do two. Like one of these? Or one of the others? No, one of those. One of those. I feel like the future. The future? You yeah. feel like the future? Yeah. Okay. All right. Justin, do you have any experience with flame heat coloring titanium? I've watched all you, all your anodizing videos. He does. He really does, Poncho. Well, if you watched all of my videos, then you would have seen I posted videos. So you on want to talk to about that. a liar? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's done some of that too. What lying? By Jason? No, of the what? flame heat coloring. Titanium. Yeah, I've posted videos about it. Well, he said he's watched all your anodizing videos. Obviously, yeah. he hasn't watched your... Go go check out my uh, uh, Knife Mods playlist. Uh, and you will see the videos about uh, heat anodizing, doing like the lightning strike anno. Or whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, Olamet calls it... Uh, Bye, Nate. Oh, I can't even remember what the hell they call it. Uh, later, Nate. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. Um, uh, what the hell do they call it? <sighs> oh, Lamech's got a word for it. Uh, entropic. Entropic. There you go. Entropic, entropic. finish. Uh, and then oh, some people refer to it as a lightning anno. Uh, some people... Re yeah, there's, there's several said... different... Oh, I did see that one where you dip it afterwards. Yeah, that's yeah. how that's how you have to do it. Yeah, that's that's how you get that effect to happen. Uh, so if you want to heat anodize titanium, um, and, but there, you know, anodizing just refers to uh, veiny anno <laughs> using some some uh, mechanical or chemical. Uh, way to change the the appearance or or the the color of said item um but yeah here uh well thank you ProX. here i was just looking on my phone here here's a uh here's one that i did a little while back this is it's designed slim pickens uh that's uh a knife right there with the entropic or lightning strike anno. Um, yeah, one that I did. So, um, how much do you charge for you lightning go. strike anno on a knife? Uh, if you got questions about mod work, uh, just send me an email, and we and I will respond. It depends on the knife, and it, it, there's lots of variables. So, yeah, just send me an email. Info at ocd for edc .com. Hey, j Dog. I successfully stripped the anno off my Malibu. It looks pretty sick. Not with our practice, without practice first on a black M-Tech, though. <laughs> nice. Right I on. I wasn't brave enough to just go for it. <laughs> gotcha. Hey, I don't blame you. Yeah. Jack up an M-Tech first. Yeah, that's cool. Is it possible to anno a stiletto hammer? Uh, sure. Yeah, stiletto titanium hammer. Uh... It would depend on the grade. Uh, so, like, if it's a grade two or grade one, two, three, four, you know, there's many different grades of titanium. Um, you don't start being, you can't really get all of the the colors uh, that are normally found on, like, an, a titanium <laughs> anodizing chart until you hit, like, really grade three is where you start being able to get some colors. Uh, grade five is, you know, traditionally what knives are made out of. Uh, grade five titanium, you can harden. Um, it also takes color very well. Uh, so other grades of titanium, and I'm not sure what uh, a stiletto hammer is, but but I'm I'm just guessing that they're hardened tie. So they're they're going to probably at the very least be grade five. And uh, so if they are, then yes, you could absolutely anodize. Uh, a stiletto hammer for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He said thank you. Um, um, and, um, and, um, can you match of, an existing anno color? And I'm gonna say that is not a guarantee. Uh, it just depends on what it is, and if we're talking, uh, you know, uh, electric anno type or heat anodizing. There's lots of different things out there, but. 
it just depends on the situation. But most of the time, yes. Uh, but I'm not going to say yes for every little, you know, there's there's always exceptions to everything. What's but up, Richie? Generally speaking, yes. Um, speaking of knife mods and stuff, uh, this is uh, an um, ADV uh, TAC Butcher. Uh, it was a 2015 variant. And um, this uh, was all black. Um, and I was... Hey, Jigsaw. It, it was some of the most... Re uh, insane coating that i've ever come across actually i have no idea what the coating was um it looked uh yeah I, i'm not sure i'm not sure exactly what the coating was but it was for real uh i can definitely say that it was uh quite unbelievable how much that coating hung on so adv back in 2015 they did they did not mess around on some coatings uh, we have but a question. Okay. I picked up a blue thumb stud for my Benchmade, but it doesn't match the blue on the bug out 535.3. Yes. Is that because it's titanium? Probably. Yes. So, <clears throat> so, um, most likely, uh, the thumb stud is either, you know, you've got the difference between aluminum anodizing and titanium anodizing. Um, uh, I don't know which bug you have you said it was 535-3 yeah um i don't remember what the dash three is um uh, but but yes yeah, aluminum so, barrel spacers yeah so so the, the you know the thumb stud is probably tie then and and it's never going to look like aluminum anodizing aluminum and tie will never look the same it, you know they're both called anodizing but with aluminum you're actually using dye um, and it's actually embedding into the surface of the metal, uh, where with uh, titanium anodizing, you are electronically changing the surface of the steel to reflect light in a different way. Not steel, but metal. Uh, and, and so there is no dye or anything involved. And so it's just a different voltage that's doing that. Uh, so, yeah, very different process. Both are called anodizing. He said, ah. Yeah. So, blue aluminum, you can have all kinds of crazy blue colors where with titanium, you're limited to very specific uh, colors at different voltage ranges. Now, there are many different blues that titanium can go, but, like, for example, you couldn't, you can't get red uh, with titanium. That's just not possible. Where with aluminum you can dot you can go any color you want uh whatever dye you have uh but a very aluminum is a very very different process would it be physics so lot mom says the physics behind titanium anno is actually fascinating it is for um, sure is it physics or would it be chemistry or but both? i would say it's probably it's really both because you're physically changing the surface never of the, thought about that until i read it you know? Yeah, yeah, no, it's 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 extremely fascinating, and uh, you know there are certain metals uh, like titanium. There's also niobium, um, and that will, reacts very much in the same way. Um, but it's yeah, it's it's extremely interesting for sure. What knife is that with the split clip? The split clip. This guy right here. I'm this guessing. is the Kaiser Slicer. Tariq was asking. And excuse uh, me, definitely a good one for sure. It's a fantastic budget knife, and it's it's so <laughs> good and comfortable in hand. It's really really excellent. Poncho said, Justin, I've seen some red titanium for sale on eBay. Ha 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 ha. Oh, you can paint shit any color you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I can get, you know. <laughs> La Mom says, I wish I could hop on a voice call and nerd out a bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I can I can get you some red tie. Uh, I can go get some Rust-Oleum. Ooh, Lindy. Yeah. She said the way we see colors on titanium is similar to how we see colors in oil on water. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yep, very much. It's Crazy. all about the way the light reflects off the surface. Yep, and think if you think about that, you think about the the colors you see, uh, oil on water. 
um, you very much have the same color uh, spectrum uh, for titanium. Thank you, D2. You didn't have uh, to do that. So, like, you know, you can't get red, but you can get pinks and purples and blues and greens. Uh, very, very cool. Thank you very much, D2. Greatly appreciate it. So, uh, did you say Richie was in here earlier? Yeah. And Lindy? Saying. Yeah, both. So, you, do you guys get the CMEs? What's up, Mr. Are, G? Have you put them on or tried them? What's, what's your thoughts? You like it or not? not to get and, and were they easy to install? How long does the Lightning Anno last? Uh, the Lightning Anno is actually very durable. Um, I actually was just talking to Zach the other day about this. He got his first knife that has the kind of Lightning Strike Anno. Um, you're actually, because you're you're raising the surface temperature or the, the temperature of the titanium and then quenching it, you are actually hardening the titanium by doing that process. Um, and, and so it actually is a very durable finish. Uh, I was kind of surprised by it when I very first started doing it. I didn't know how well it would hold up. Uh, but, but once you bring it up to temp and you quench it in the acid, uh, it holds up extremely well. It's, uh, it's very, very, uh, uh, very durable. That's for sure. They got the... Oh, CMAs, got it. But um, yeah, I, I haven't put them on yet. Yeah, I see that. I had like a straight brain. Yeah, your brain just collapsed. Yeah. Just fell down. Can you print me a new one? <laughs> we need to put them on. So, okay. <clears throat> Heat Anno is much more durable than electrolytic. Here. Yep. Which one you want? Uh, I have a tiny head. You want this? You do have I a tiny head. I don't think that one will fit. <laughs> yeah, that one won't fit. This is a good brain. That's a good I'd say they're both good brains, but, you know. Yeah. This one. Oh, there it goes. Back on the support material. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> brains. Brains. I need a brownie... Sunday with all the fixings. I mean... Who said that? You're not wrong, Nebu. Oh, Nebu Cloud? Yeah. Holy smokes, you weren't kidding. <laughs> yeah, there's really brains here. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, uh, this is for one, uh, uh, my daughter's school project. I 3D printed these brains. It's a Mingda. Mingda D2 printer. I'm assuming that's yeah. the question. Mm-hmm. Yep. If I'm going to stonewash a blade, can I put some nail polish or glue gun on the edge? I'm not good at sharpening. Uh, that's going to be really, really... Uh, I would say no, honestly, because uh, one, the nail polish isn't going to hold up to the stonewashing. Uh, two, you won't ever be able to get... Uh, you know, it's not going to be perfect. I mean, you could try and tape it off or whatever. Uh, I don't know how else to tell you i mean maybe you just send it out to someone that can do it for you um but you're Bye, almost Tariq. almost guaranteed you're gonna have to uh resharpen it after stone washing and but to answer your question you can you know mask off the pivot area the detent track the lock face uh those areas if you need to um uh, you know, cover those areas up so they don't get damaged, whatever, with whatever you're doing. Uh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. you guys will see video on this thing coming up very, very soon. I got some really, really sick plans for this, so I'm pumped on it. It's going to be really cool. Uh, but, yeah, so stay tuned. There'll be some new uh, knife mod videos coming. Monster said you should put some slots in these brains and make knife holders out of them. Yeah, some brain knife holders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, they could sit, uh, you know, I mean, with the, like, it'll, it'll kind of hold them. But you could make slots and, like, your shoving them in there yeah yeah i could so yeah open up this knife 
quick before we go? Well, yeah, we can. You wanted the future one, yeah? Mm-hmm. So we're going to, we'll tease a little bit of uh, shit show. We've got some wonderful shit show stuff. Uh, so we're going to have to do a shit show here coming up very soon. Yeah, well, we should just plan for one. Yeah, we'll, we'll plan a, a good shit show here coming up very soon. But we're going to, we're going to show a little bit of something. And this, this is a nice bubble pack here. It's a really sweet, uh, rough rider. So you guys know. You guys know the level of quality that we're talking about here. Little Rough Rider. Let rough me get the rider, light on. Rough Rider. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So so this is this is the knife right here. I'm gonna start showing this. So you can see here it's Ben Franklin's Key to the Future. Ben Franklin's Key to the Future. Made by Rough Rider. As legend has it, Benjamin Franklin in his pursuit to provide I'm sorry, in, in his pursuit to prove that lightning was electricity, flew a kite into a thunderstorm with the key attached to the twine. <clears throat> lightning was attracted to the key, and when struck, flowed freely through the twine. This key knife honors Franklin's legend and his discovery of electricity. It's sure to be a conversation starter wherever you go. I don't think I need to tell you guys about the lore of the Rough Rider Benjamin Franklin key, <clears throat> uh, key knife, but we have one here, and this thing is uh, very, very special. Now, um, <laughs> wow, I, I will, I will say uh, this product is uh, known to cause cancer. It contains a chemical or substance known to cause. Uh, Known to cause cancer to the state of California, so maybe to maybe, the state of California? maybe it's just the state of California, not, not the in? not the residents, but just the state. The way it's written, yeah, it says known to the state of California to cause cancer, birth defects, or other reproductive harm. A chemical or substance known to the state of California. So the state of California knows that this chemical causes cancer birth defects and other reproductive harms so so if you but, live but in california yeah. you could get it maybe but, but i don't even say it doesn't else. say like, we're in yeah. iowa we're fine yeah but it also doesn't say that it just it doesn't say for residents of right it just says uh, known to ca anyway uh, but when you're dealing, if you live in california watch out <laughs> when when you're dealing with this sort of legend uh actually I, oh man i don't want to I don't want to cut through the beautiful artwork. Californians really do get screwed, don't they, monster? Now, so, oh, it's to the governor. The governor of California will get the cancer. Oh well, then it, then we're good. <laughs> yeah. Newsom needs a, a new round of cancer. <laughs> Dang. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. So let's get this thing out here. I'm gonna. Let's. We're gonna. I think you're okay if you're visiting. Monster, just get the fuck out real fast. <laughs> is that what it is? Just yeah. get out real fast? Yeah, and make sure you wash your hands a lot. Gotcha. What's up, Beaver Baron? Get the kite. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. Hey, Ross. Here is... Oh, uh, look at that. Speaking <laughs> speaking of lightning strike anno, <coughs> look at that gorgeous, gorgeous lightning. Here is Ben Franklin's... Key to the future. Katie says. Look at it. I think it's based off a law in California. Look at it. Hold on. <laughs> that requires packaging label warnings. And you know what I say, Katie? I think it's based off of a bunch of California bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Um, okay. So I, I just have to say right here, right now. Oh my gosh. Pro X. He said, I already have a brain tumor, so I'm good. <laughs> hey, Fuck, man. Hey, hey well. That is, sucks. Is he in California? Are you in California? It happens. Just it move. happens to us. Just, you got to move. Yeah. <laughs> You're in the wrong state. Yeah. I, I just found out last week that I got to go back under the knife again. Um, so, you know, like, yeah, shit happens. <laughs> Anthony said, here in California, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> So this says uh, Ben Franklin, Benjamin Franklin's future knife. In let's see, 
No, yeah, well. 440, it says 440, razor sharp steel. Right there, 440, razor sharp steel. How's the action on that key? Oh, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Um, very, very weak uh, backspring, but you can see the half stop there. Damn, Pro X, that sucks. I'd be uh, thinking about you. Yeah. Oh, it, he. That was real. Yeah, that's oh. real. Yeah, that sucks, man. Um, so we're we we'll, we'll be uh, keeping you in our prayers, and uh, hopefully you uh, make it through. I'm guessing fuck surgery and whatnot. Tumors and fuck cancer. Yeah, fuck no doubt. That fuck. Yeah, that sucks. But yeah, stay positive, man. For sure. Um. All right, well, let's see if this That's can EDC cut. That's perfection. It is. It really is. Uh, so this key, this is a highly coveted item. I mean, it just it tells you all the lore here. <laughs> and this key knife honors Franklin's legend and his discovery of electricity. How's the lock up on that? Uh, well, it's a back lock. Or, I'm sorry, it's a, a slip joint, I mean. And so, you know... It is quite well centered. I'll say that. So, and by that I mean it's not rubbing one side or the other. It's close to the one side, but you can just put it where you want it. So, oop. So you can just push it over a little bit, and then it kind of stays there. So it'll stay centered like that. Um. But Jigsaw said, "You under the knife?" Question mark. The irony, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I found out last week I'm going to have to have surgery on my leg again, which we'll talk about that later. Um, not not the end, not a big, it was yeah. a, yes, it's surgery, but it's like a lot less of an ordeal than we expected. So yeah, it could have been way worse. It could have been infected, which is kind of what they thought originally. Uh, but like I said, we'll, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. I'll keep you informed not on important what's going right on now. there. Yeah. No offense. <laughs> um, it sucks. But... What it do, pimpin'? Oh, you know, cuz. What up, Dub Glock? So, yeah, so there you go. This is Ben Franklin's key. So, Buy definitely, a lot, definitely a fancy, fancy unit right here. Yeah, let, tell me what you think. Oh, I don't know that I got it closed all the way. Did that? Hold on. Hold oh, on. Give it, hand it back to no, me. No, no, no. That's what happened. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. So here's here's some Rough Rider quality right there. Oh, thanks, Chris. I I closed it too quickly and it got a little off center, and and now it's stuck on one of the liners and did not close all, all the way. So, there it goes. There there you go. <laughs> Have them use the Ben Franklin for his surgery. <laughs> no, I'll negative. just do it at home. In that case. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm real good at surgery. Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, things a POS. <gasps> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Should we? We should take a look at this one too. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Okay, so we've got another one of these. Horseshoe another key metal. from Rough Rider. Rough Rider. These are history knives. Okay. Right. This straight up history knives. This is this key actually works. For you to unlock and, the door to Ben Franklin's house. Yeah, and it was in Ben Franklin's pocket, right? This was Ben Franklin's pocket knife, yeah? Well, yeah, but I mean, this is also, like, they made also... this knife from the key oh, that okay. was on oh. the twine. Yeah, okay, all right. So. Yeah, so they, I mean, they probably, that key that was on the twine, they put it in a key machine, right? And then, so you can make copies of it? Is that how that works? No, this is the key. He just did a lot of experiments, so there was oh. like hundreds, thousands of keys. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. It was just one of yeah. the many. Okay. Like, after he ran so a this... test, he had to control it, so he had to use a new key. Got it. Okay, so this key here, this is also a Rough Rider. It's amazing that they find these things. Um, this is <laughs> this is the key to Davy Jones's locker. Uh and this, the lore of this key, it says, this uh, this Rough Rider key knife honors the legend of Davy Jones's locker, the final resting place of those who are taken by the sea. With its one-clip blade and Davy Jones' locker blade etch, this skull and crossbones 
handled knife. This skull and crossbones handled, that's a hyphenated, handled key knife. That's a bit much. <laughs> fits neatly uh, and easily on your key ring. It's sure to be a conversation starter wherever you go. Does it, though? That's what it says. And it also causes cancer. I... <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like it's going to fit on my key ring very well. Well, we're about to find mm -hmm. out. Davy's locker has a combination lock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Rough Rider traditional knives are well worth Look the at... money, but their gimmicky knives are very M Tech ish. It's worse than M Tech. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Oh, I oh! Like it's so things. good. It's so good. Hold on, guys. You got to see this. I got to show you this up close. The skull and crossbones. It's got, like, this is straight up Goonies style right here. And there's, uh, <laughs> you know, patina. Uh, well, I'm not even going to call it brass, but. There's something that's patina or just dirty. Uh, <laughs> I want to see the back patina in, dirt. <laughs> in, in the eye holes. In the eye and nose holes. Oh, yeah. That's that's dirt. <laughs> that's, just, that's just patina dirt. Um, and this one also says 440 razor sharp steel. Okay. Oh, this one's got a little stronger back spring. So Ben Franklin, well, but straight I straight mean, from the Goonies pirate ship. But but Ben Franklin's Duh. old, so I mean this one's just wore out. Right. Like I mean, I mean it's really really old. It, it can't stay perfect forever. <laughs> yeah, Davy Jones's locker uh, it apparently is not as old, or at least it hasn't been used as much. I mean, how how many lightning it's bolts ghostly. will this thing last? Like, so I, I'm giving this one a pass for the back spring being off. Uh, but, you know, Davy Jones's locker, I mean, all it would have to do is stand up to salt water for thousands of years. Like, that's nothing. Right. Pretty much nothing. Duh. I mean, any, I mean, any like, rough rider can do that. <laughs> well, right. That's a given. But also, like, you know, it is like a little otherworldly down there in the locker. Yeah. Yeah. So, have you been? Yeah. Yo, oh, okay. All right. I go on Tuesdays. Oh. <laughs> So this one also can be can close a little off center and just not fit in there exactly. Grateful said, Patina, eat your ham. <laughs> eat your freaking food. Eat your freaking food, Tina. You fat lard. Patina Turner. <laughs> Patina Turner. I oh love gosh. it. I love it. Was this one designed by Ramon Chavez? Uh yeah, absolutely. Duh. This is this is where uh, Mr. Chavez got the old pocket clip inspiration for the Redencion two two nine. Say it like that again. The Redencion. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a that's a knife that people love. The Chavez Redencion. The Spider yeah. Consult series is jealous right now. Shit, yeah, it is. Yeah, in between sniper training. I go, you go to Davy Jones' locker on Tuesdays. Right, right. I like, mean, I'm you, a I'm a master sniper. I don't need to train every week. Right, right. Well, so because you're the master sniper, I mean, are you like taking shipments? Are you? Is that what's going on? You're hauling bodies down to Davy Jones' no, locker. No, I'm retired. Okay. Okay. So, so I you're go just going check on in Tuesdays on my to, slade to, to to play Parcheesi or whatever with yeah with the ghosties <laughs> with the ghosties. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay. And I check on some of my boating uh, targets. Your <laughs> <laughs> so some of your water jobs. <laughs> yes, exactly. My water jobs. <laughs> oh, oh, shit's deep. Shit's real, real deep. <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I so, don't understand why it's deep. I mean, it, it is Davy Jones Locker. Well, yeah, it's right. Deep. I mean, yeah, it's just literally it's deep. Like, I mean, it's kind of the point, isn't it? Uh, so I, I, I feel bad now that I cut the phenomenal Rough Rider artwork here. I'm gonna, you should I'm gonna feel have bad. To, I'm gonna have to tape that back together. Ooh. I got my new office apparatus. Oh gosh. <laughs> Guys, he got all this oh, apparatus. 
Oh, shit. I get to use it. This just showed up today. <laughs> Molly's blast and necks and cash and jacks. Duh. <laughs> oh, so, so here, I gotta, I gotta say something really quick. Up until today, every package that we've sent out, whether it's been from a knife sale or giveaways or whatever, a submarine website a sales, hmm. we've used tape. Uh, guns like this until I finally got smarter and I'm like hey wait a minute I generally am like just two handing this and pulling the tape off and ripping it off and then putting it on the package and it's a pain in the ass <laughs> that's so, a great idea I Ian hold on I got a couple okay. things you need the whole collection of these keys are there more sure, I'm sure there's more there's got to be more and uh, then you need to put them on a big janitor keyring hanging from you <laughs> that would be nice yeah. yes it's gonna have. To, it's got to be a retractable though. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, yeah. yeah. And so it's gonna have to like be retractable and have like a twenty pound limit. Yeah. Um. And uh, Poncho, a submarine sniper. Actually, uh, I'll have to tell you guys the story about when I shot a guy in a submarine underwater <laughs> through the through periscope. a porthole. <laughs> oh, through a porthole. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So on your submarine, they have like cruise ship windows. I wasn't in a submarine. I was swimming. Oh, you were swimming. Got it. Got it. Okay. We'll cover that another day. Yeah, we'll talk about that another day. Uh, but, so, here's the deal, guys. So, we've always used uh, tape guns like this, but most of the packages, you know, are small, so it's not like we're doing on a box and, you know, doing that whole thing. Molly so, single-handedly took out U-4 suit 70. <laughs> there you go. Basically. So I finally got smart enough to get a packing tape uh, table, desktop dispenser. But this thing came with the, you know, I only needed this part. Uh, but it was a full office bundle. So now I have scotch tape and a pen holder here. And basically, guys. He's really excited. I'm, I'm officing really fucking hard. <laughs> this is, I'm officing really hard. Oh, so, no. No, Let's get a little scotch tape. Oh, do you see how beautiful that worked? That was amazing. I didn't off the uh, Loch Ness monster. We're we're kin. We I don't I wouldn't. Do oh, that. you're kin. Yeah. Oh, you and you and old Nesty go way back. Yeah, because we're Scottish. Oh, uh huh, uh huh. Well, now you're gonna have to you're gonna have to take people out because you just revealed your heritage. Or did I? <laughs> 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 she's really proud of herself for saying that she's over here uh gonna start crying she's <laughs> laughing so see I, I went back to this it's just my natural instinct to grab that when i need tape get that thing out of here oh, oh with you peasant tape roll <laughs> yes yes i have my 16.99 amazon special right here oh okay <laughs> look at that the artwork is saved. The artwork oh, is heavens. saved. I'll take them to Michael's to get framed tomorrow. This thing has sand in it. Yeah, I think we should frame these because then we can collect the whole series. Yeah. We get all the cards. We seriously have look to at look at that artwork. Make sure that there's like we have all keys available. We, we have all the keys. Yeah. To all the things, and then does that like equal world domination? <laughs> Once you have all the Rough Rider keys, you have all the keys you'll well, I mean, when you need. have when you have the key to the future and the key to Davy Jones's locker, <laughs> like yeah, all we right. need now is the key to the pearly gates and we're good, right? Like, right. What else is there? Yeah, right. Winchester said, "This is hilarious." <laughs> Do you want to know why no one sees Bigfoot? One word, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I'm uh, glad somebody finally fucking recognized. <laughs> finally recognized your talents. Right. Got it. Got uh, it. She single-handedly took out an entire species. And I could do it again. <laughs> so watch your mouth. So watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I heard Molly has the longest confirmed shot. Took out a Russian on the species. Station from Earth, and it was cloudy. <laughs> and it was cloudy. Yeah. 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 Duh. What was your what gun was it again? You were shooting my low puma. <laughs> low puma. Got okay. Got it. Got it. 
It's kind of like a lapua. Uh, oh, uh-huh, but uh-huh. it's it's a it, much it's higher classified. end. Classified. Yeah, it's, it's classified yeah, exactly. Right. right. <laughs> Not even the president has the clearance yeah, to know about it. Right, right. Well, the current one couldn't spell it, so. <laughs> <laughs> True story. <laughs> True story. All right, guys. We better end this before it gets any worse. Um, and it's it's way past her bedtime now. Yeah, Things are going off the, the rails. The Fed comes crashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking door. Yeah, well, when you possess keys like this... <laughs> Uh, people are going to be after us. I mean, yeah. when you have a key to the future and to Davy Jones, right. once we, once and we, a master sniper, once you complete the like, trifecta and get the pearly gate key, we're done. We, I mean, we we rule it all. Then I cannot wait. It's going to be amazing. Yes, you can block out all the haters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord! Uh, all right, guys. Hopefully you guys had fun here tonight, laughing and being <laughs> stupid. Um, yeah, it's good times. I hope everyone has a wonderful week at work, uh, do or doing whatever it is you're doing. And yeah, well, I've got some new videos coming up. Hopefully you enjoy those. I've got some cool topics. I found a really cool extreme budget knife that I'm going to post a video up this week about. It's uh, pretty cool. Extreme budget knife. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And when I say extreme budget, I mean super cheap. Um, but it's actually, it's actually not bad uh, for how cheap it is. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed all this and we will catch you next time. <laughs> is it a rough rider? <laughs> it is not a rough rider. Nope. It's from a company that I've never shown on our channel. I haven't even mentioned the, I don't, I, maybe I mentioned it in some shit show or something before, but. Oh, Miss Penny, you were here. It's a, it's a brand that used to make good stuff like 30 years ago. Uh, but anyway, well, uh, yeah, yeah, you'll see it coming up in a video. Penny, I hope you're doing uh, better. I hope things are uh, good with you and yours. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I hope everyone has a wonderful week ahead of them. And, yep. Anything you need to say? I have a headache. You I love headache. you all. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. We gone. Bye. Bye.